What's up you guys, Rex here. And in today's video, I'll be covering what I think are the top 10 college courses that prepare you for medical school. So this list is based on a couple things. It's based on courses that I think are actually useful in medical school, other courses that just give you a good idea of what medical school is like and help you decide on your future career. And unfortunately, a biggest part of it is courses that will prepare you for the MCAT ultimately, because that's unfortunately a big reality in medical school. A lot of the info that helped me make this list comes directly from the AAMC. Link is down below where they actually go over what percentage of questions come from what subject. And so that's mostly relevant is all the sections except cars, because that's not really content based. Additionally, I have a little bit of information from different test companies that further break down the subject breakdown. And so when I say like this percent of the questions come from this class, that's where that's coming from. So starting off, number 10 is like an intro statistics class. Now, no questions on the MCAT directly come from statistics, but it's still very useful for the MCAT in reading a lot of the science passages. But more importantly, in medical school, you're gonna be expected to be able to read medical literature intelligently. And a big part of that is being able to understand the statistical analysis that is going into results of different studies. So number nine is an intro sociology course, Social 101, whatever that is. Now, this is actually a pretty big chunk. It's about 10% of the questions on the MCAT. So it is a very important class to take, broadly speaking. That being said, I think SOC is one of the easiest classes to self-study for, so that's why it's pretty low down the list as highly important. Number eight is genetics. Now, this is only like three and a quarter percent of the questions, so it's not a big chunk. That's why it's pretty low on the list. That being said, genetics is becoming more and more important in medicine and in medical school. A lot of medical schools are continuously adding genetics courses because this hasn't been a huge part of medical education because it hasn't been able to impact treatments and diagnosis as much as it's starting to be able to do. And especially in the future, it's gonna become more and more a part of medicine. So only expect genetics to become more and more important in your future careers. That's why I think it's really important to take. Number seven is your basic intro psychology class, Psych 101, whatever it is. Now this is a huge chunk of material on the MCAT. In fact, this is the largest single subject that makes up questions on the MCAT. And it's really all coming from your Psych 101 course. It's like 21 and two thirds percent of the content-based questions are Psych 101. That being said, I think it's pretty easy to self-study for. So it's not an absolute must, but I highly, highly recommend taking it as a pre-med course. It's gonna be very helpful for the MCAT. However, I don't necessarily know how important it is for actual medical school. I haven't gotten that far in my medical education yet, so it might become more important, but so far just looking forward in the curriculum, it doesn't seem as important as a lot of other hard science-based classes. Number six is Orgo, and so I'm combining Orgo 1 and Orgo 2 together, just a general subject of your Orgo classes. No two ways about it, you gotta take Orgo. It covers like six and two thirds percent of the questions. It's not fun. It'd be really hard to self-study for, so definitely gotta take your Orgo class. While it's not required for every medical school, I highly recommend taking it because it's a very useful foundation for once you start taking your biochemistry classes inside med school. All right, starting off the top five is physics. Now, physics is not fun whatsoever for most people. I understand that. But it is about eight and a third percent of the MCAT question, so it is significant. Additionally, I personally believe physics gives you the best base fundamental understanding of the world and of science. And so that's really important ultimately in medicine to understand a lot of disease processes, but maybe more importantly, understanding a lot of the equipment you'll be using as a physician, whether that's an MRI machine or an x-ray machine. Number four, Bio 101, whatever your first intro bio class, a full 7% of the questions on the MCAT come from Bio 101. But more importantly, this is like your base building block, foundational understanding of the cell, which starts your foundational understanding of the human body. That's what you start off with in medical school. Very important for medical school. Very important for further classes you take in undergrad. Very important for the MCAT. Number three, along the same lines, general chemistry. I'm lumping Gen Chem 1, Gen Chem 2 in. It's basically required for every medical school as a required prereq. Anyways, it's like 11 and two thirds percent of the questions on the MCAT, hugely foundational course, very important class. And number two is biochemistry. 
This is a huge chunk of material on the MCAT. It's like 16 and two thirds percent of all the questions come from biochemistry. Additionally, this is what really synthesizes the information you learn in biology and chemistry together and start making them relevant to the human body and to you as a physician one day. And it's a huge chunk of what you need to know in medical school. And I've heard some people say that like having to learn biochemistry is basically the main difference between becoming a doctor and becoming a physician's assistant. So it's very crucial to your medical education and it builds your framework understanding of so many physiological functions and disease processes. And my number one most important pre-med class is anatomy and physiology. While this isn't the biggest subject that makes up MCAT questions, it's like 14.75% of the questions, I think like this is the pre-med course. If anatomy and physiology in some way, whether it's just one organ system or one part of the body, if it doesn't get you excited for medicine and excited for medical school, it might be time to reevaluate because that is just the foundation of the journey and the start to becoming a doctor. And it will help you out so much in your journey in medical school of having a good foundation for anatomy lab because that's such a big part of the memorization you have to get through. So some of my classmates that have done like graduate school and had cadaver labs already, or they were a major in undergrad that had three different anatomy and phys physiology classes, they're a huge step of the head of the game. I took one and I feel like I'm ahead of the game and so thankful for it. But the more anatomy and physiology class you can take, the better prepared you are for medical school. All right. And so that's the list. Those are my top 10. I'd love to hear what you guys think, whether you're coming from the perspective of someone preparing for the MCAT, someone in high school and just thinking ahead, or any other med students out there or doctors out there. I'd love to hear your rankings of what you think is most important. Maybe I'll do a video when I'm actually done with medical school and I actually know things, how much I look back and totally change this list. Who knows? But questions, comments, or concerns, I'd love to hear about them down below. If you want to catch all of my videos and be able to find your way back here, I'll upload on Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you like the video, like the video. If you dislike the video, dislike the video. And until next time, don't be ordinary, go be great.